Okay, hello and welcome. It's Rick Baxter, Cost Control Software. Say, in this video, I'm going to take you through how to set up pop-up notes. This should be a fairly short video because it's so, so simple to set up your pop-up note system. I'm going to take you through some basics of setup, and then we're going to set up our first uh, note, and then I'll show you how to set up multi-notes as well. So uh, let's get started. Uh, you should have, and it, you can do this from anywhere in your, uh, the, um, in the Business Central uh, software. So uh, your, your screen may look a little different than mine, but uh, uh, everything I'm going to show you, you can do from any of the different role centers within your uh, Business Central. Okay, so first thing I want you to do is go up to the search tool. That's this little kind of magnifying glass thingy right here. Select that and type POP, P-O-P. And wait just a second, and then up on the screen is going to come your pop-up notes setup. And I'm just going to select that, and now I'm on page 7, or it should be about 7 or 8 in your study guide uh, for the pop-up notes setup. There's only 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There's only 5 things to set up. That's it. So it's whether you want to repop the notes on make order, repop on release, repop on the purchases side, and repop notes on the copy purchase and the copy documents. So those are the only things that you've got to decide. I kind of recommend that you set everything to yes. So check all the boxes on this screen. If the notes get too uh, much in your face as you're using the software, because things will pop up a lot, you can come back here and kind of dampen that down by taking some of these check marks off okay so this is uh that's the first thing you got to do so set those like you see it there okay and then just close out of that and that is it on the setup so simple okay now now we're going to set up your first note Okay, it's important to set up your first note. And I like to do it from the customer card. So I'm on page 8, at least in my study guide, it's page 8. It may change by the time we get out to um, publishing this. But I'm going to go to the customers. So uh, just select customers. Uh, I would just pick the very first customer on your list, whatever that is, whether it's your customer or you're using the sample. Uh, either way. Here is the customer card. So from the customer card on the navigation tab is where you add new pop-up notes. So you can add new pop-up notes here or you can view all of the existing notes. Now I have some pop-up notes in the screen in, in my sample, but I want to start by helping you create your very first pop-up note. So let's go and do that. So I'm going to click on new pop-up note. It's going to assign it a number. If this is your very first one, it's going to be number one. But if it's um, if you already have some in here, it's going to be number two, three, four, whatever it is. Don't worry about the number. It's for the customer that you were on. So in this case, it was 10,000. So this is the customer. Even though this says item, I don't put an item here because then it would be a customer item specific note. I want it to be just a general note for this customer. So I'm going to put in here... Um, ship uh, with in two days of their order. This customer likes to get the orders out quickly, so we want to put in a comment that pops up anytime we add that, um, that customer um, to a sales order. That's going to pop up. Now, it is set right now to pop up on sales documents, purchase documents, and service documents. You know, potentially for customers, maybe we don't need it there. We don't need it there. So, um, okay, so we do need it there. So I'm going to save that. Okay, so we're going to leave those alone. Um, doesn't matter. Okay, so let's go ahead now and sales line extended text. Do we want these comments to actually, for example, sales header comments? Check this box to print um, the note as a sales header comment. It'll actually put it into the comment field for you automatically if you want to save the note with that actual, uh, with that comment. Notice, too, you can also print them on invoices. You can print on credit memos. So it depends how you want to toggle 
the note. I'm going to go ahead for this example. I'll go ahead and put it to uh, save it in the header comments. We may not print the header comments, but at least it's safe with the document. So this is all kind of optional, okay, these screens. A couple other little things I'll point out. You can make a note bold. So if you check this here, when you see it on screen, it'll be big and strong. And you can have effective date and expiration date. So some notes, you may don't want to have that note show all the time. You could put an exp uh, expiration date. And then, as you see here, um, if I hover on this, the expiration date for the note. If no date is entered, the note will be used permanently. So you can actually uh, set a date where that expires. Just pointing out some of the things as we go. Okay, um, I think that's it. So I'm going to go ahead and say OK. And we have just added a note. Okay, now in the other video that shows how to use pop-up notes, um, you'll see that note pop up on the screen on the sales order example. So that's a, a, the first note we've created now for our customer. Now, let's create a note for an item. Okay, same kind of process. I'm going to go back to our uh, inventory items and we'll go right here to our first items so we'll create an item and I would just start with whatever your first inventory item is just to kind of get accustomed to this uh, select the number put you in edit mode and then you can add a note all of our pop-ups are on the navigate screen and it's either a new note or a pop-up uh, to view the existing notes now let's last time I did a new note let's just see if there's any notes already in here and in my sample yes there are now I've that's just to be able to display the notes but notice from here from here I can actually create a new note so if you want to if yours comes up blank when you do a view and you want to add a new note then that'll take you to the screen I've got for this item look at this I've got three different notes uh, these legs are easy to remove for storage or transportation sale begins so you've got an expiration date here sale begins May 1st and idea offers stainless steel legs as an option so you can have notes these are multiple notes that pop up on the screen depending on um, the dates, you could have notes that are specific to a vendor. Maybe this is a, a note that is going to show on a purchase order for this inventory item. So for those of you that are purchasing agents, pay attention there. This would be good for you to have a vendor and the item and some kind of special note about that inventory item. So again, it's the same process. If you want to add new note, you can add it here. Um, you can also edit the note. So if you maybe made a mistake, let's say on this one, you've got the wrong date. You can come in and hit edit and it will bring up the editing screen, which then allows you to change the date here to like that. And then, of course, you would want to change the effective date as well. So up here we'd make that 20, effective 20, and also the expiration would be the 2020. Something like that. Okay. So that is the example of being able to edit, add notes, uh, easy, easy stuff, right? Okay. And do, do exactly what you see me doing here. So I want you to add your own first couple notes, do one or two more, uh, just so you get an idea of the entry process of getting the notes into the software. Uh, so this is the setup, and in the other video, it shows you how the notes actually pop up on the screen during the transactions. Okay, so let's close out of this, close out of this. We'll go back uh, to the menu here. Um, I'm not going to read through the field descriptions. I would encourage you to look at that. I do want to go to page 11 in your study guide and talk about the multi-note because I think this is important as well. And you can be anywhere when you're adding a multi-note. So just go to any of your items. Let's go back to the uh, add a note here. And on the navigation tab, that's the key here, is on the navigation tab is where you can create multi-notes. So just select that. You'll get a new dialog box here that kind of gets you started on this thing. And these are where you want to have the same note 
for multiple customers or multiple vendors or multiple items. And rather than putting the note in individually, you can kind of mass create the notes by uh, having the note defined up here at the top, kind of decide what note you want to put in. And let's say uh, on this, let's do an item note. Uh, we'll say uh, these, and then we'll say this item uh, is overstocked. Um, offer discounts for sales effort. Something like that. Okay, so just a simple little note. And we won't have enough a creative, we could have a creation date, an effective date, and an expiration date. In fact, I'm going to make this note bold. That's the note I want. I do want it on sales documents, so I'm going to have that checked. And once I get the note kind of set up, in fact, I think I may even put that on purchase documents as well. Once I have the note set, there's one more step that you do have to do, and we mentioned this very clearly in the, your, your study guide, this is on page 14, is that you do have to go ahead and create the note. So there's a function to generate the notes. And that is done, oh, wait a minute, sorry, <laughs> one, one step in between here. Once you've decided on the note, you have to, dis, you have to tell the system which, um, where, whether you want this note, uh, which items you want the note on, sorry. So I left that out. So here it is. Here's choose items. So I'd come in here to choose items. And you simply say, well, I want that note on this item, this item, this item down here, and this item, and let's put it on this item. So I've got it on these multiple items. I close out my selection routine. You see the preview listed here, but it hasn't generated the notes yet onto those items, okay, because we're kind of going to be creating rather than going to these items individually we're going to be um, uh, creating them in kind of in mass so this is a multi note creation routine and so to generate it there's that last step that I was referring to is to create the notes right here okay so don't forget to come up here and create the notes so I'll say okay and then this is my worksheet kind of clears and it's now populated those notes. Go check it um, to be sure that you see the notes and also check it on sales orders or purchase orders wherever you created it to be sure that they pop up as expected. Okay, so that's it. That's, uh, that's the pop-up note setup. Um, do watch the other video if you haven't already on the uh, how to use the software uh, day to day. Uh, that is covered in the other video. This one just shows you the setup. And I think from here, you should be able to, uh, good to go. Uh, call us if you have any questions or if you have uh, suggestions for improvements to the product. We always love to hear from uh, the end users uh, of the software. Call us here at Cost Control Software and uh, let us know what you think of the software too. Thanks so much. Have a great day.